Hey, what's up guys? Uh, like I promised before, I would uh, videotape all the new stuff that I got, and uh, so let's get started. And I'm figuring the easiest way would be to go, you know, box by box, so I guess we can start from this box first. First thing, it's Mankind from Survivor Series. It's the uh, last of the bone crunching action, and um, I guess it's supposed to be like a significant series, so they come with a it comes with a gold plated WWF logo in the back. And it has Mankind's autograph right on the leg. You can see there. A bit. Right there. And uh, next we have this Chris Benoit autograph. And you can see a bit of his autograph there. It's an eight by ten come it came with a ticket that guy had. Next we got a limited edition Hulk Hogan from the the first draft. Hogan gets drafted to SmackDown. Uh, yeah, draft number four, Hulk Hogan. It's a limited edition of twenty two thousand five hundred. Yeah. This just a that's no, nothing actually. That's just a picture of the Triple H. This uh, WCW Monday Nitro heels limited edition set one. Lex Luger. This I just thought it was, you know, old school figure, so I thought I'd pick it up. Not really much reason why I got this, but that. Uh, Hulk Hogan autograph, and really from Fan Access from WrestleMania 18. I actually have one of these, but I went to WrestleMania such a long time ago, I lost all the. Well, I was irresponsible. I lost all that stuff from that time. So that's the first box. Second box, I guess we can take this one. First figure set to come out. TLC High Flyers. Comes with Edge, Bubba Ray, and Jeff Hardy. This is actually a pretty nice figure. It's what the years are from. From 2001. Um, just stuff on the back. Second thing, these are, this is actually, uh, I'll try opening this for you guys. All the lighters that WWE has put out over the years. So you got, uh, Kane, Bret Hart, Kurt Angle, Triple H, Stacy Keebler, and a Alita one in there. Chris Jericho and The Undertaker. The view's really bad, I don't know what the... And then Chris Jericho card with uh, the jersey he's wearing inside there. And then this one was a nice one. It's Rock vs. Hogan with the uh, official mat from WrestleMania 18 in the middle. And then we got more uh, more lighters in here. Yeah, we got another Undertaker one. Just a Raw logo Van Dam in here. Is that China? Yeah, China in there. Roy Wilson's in there as well. So those are the lighters. These are some old school pogs. See them all in there. Is, you see, that's a nice spray one. The Smasher, The Undertaker. There you got the Intercontinental title bell. There's Owen Hart one in there. Um, what else we got? British Bulldog there. Bret Hart again. Bret Hart. And yeah, just put these on the side now. I'll have fun cleaning this up after. Probably have to make two videos. My, my memory card only holds about nine minutes, so... This is actually going to be one of my figures for the rare inventory thing. This is a Mankind Ripped and Ruthless Series 1. Um, these are actually, I don't know what they really are. It's just like bigger than usual figures. They're almost like the those ones up there, the uh, Unmatched Furies, but a smaller version of them. Ripped and Ruthless. This Mankind goes for $45 online. And then I also have a, a, a Gold Dust one. When Gold Dust is actually something in the WWF and not a jobber or anything else. That. And then of course you got 
WrestleMania 18, 17, 16, and 15. All in their original DVD. Okay, that's two boxes done. Next, take this box here. This one's actually. Okay, so here's more of, this, of the Ripped and Ruthless. This one is The Undertaker. I'd probably do this one as well for the inventory set. Put it in the light a bit. You can see his tattoos. Actually, This one actually looks really nice compared to the other ones. It's kind of dark. You can't even see that. But There's an Austin one in there as well. It's a case. We got Shawn Michaels autograph. John Cena autograph. And this is actually the next thing I'm going to show you guys. It's actually not too many people would know about this. It's Brock Lesnar's yearbook from um, University of Minnesota. He's on the cover of the yearbook of the... Yeah, that'd be pretty good to get signed by him. And uh, Sheldon Benjamin's in there as well because him and Sheldon went to the same school. So I can go over that for you guys. But there's Brock Lesnar's yearbook from University of Minnesota. And we got some books a lot. Unscripted, Superstar Billy Graham, It's Good to Be King sometimes, uh, Tribute to the Greatest Wrestlers, Remembering Some of the Greatest Wrestlers, Kurt Angle, It's True, It's True, The Hardy Boys, uh, Mankind, Have a Nice Day, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Truth, Stu Hart, Lord of the Ring, Foley is Good, and Broken Hearts, The Life and Death of Owen Hart. And this is another rare figure I can do, it's uh, Collector's Edition Spring, 8 inch, ultra possible, ultra posable, sorry, <laughs> figure there. That's actually a really nice one, I should put right beside my Evolutionist Sting over there. Stuff on the back. Okay, and another box. Um, make some room now. Okay. Next, we got the first figure that WWE's put out of Ric Flair. And this is this series is all like the very first wrestler, like first figures, like wrestlers who just debuted. So this one comes with a Landstorm, Ric Flair, Tajiri, Rob Van Dam, Hurricane Helms, and a Booker T. Those are the guys in this series. That, and then WWF Superstars, these are from about 1996. Figure from 96, yeah. the Bulldog, Mankind, Psycho Sid, and I think that's all. And then I got the NWO series, we got Scott Hall in there, Hulk Hogan, and Mr. Kevin Nash, and here's one more of the 96 figures, and a Bret Hart on there. I got a lot of Bret Hart's, I got one there as well. So, yeah, a lot of old school Bret Hart figures. A Flexum figure of uh, Chris Benoit. And WCW Power Slam figures of Hulk Hogan. This is actually when he came back, when NWO was over, so from 2000. When WCW was at its peak, as you can, and that's a joke. And then this is this one actually is another rare figure I want to do. It's uh, Al Snow from SummerSlam '99. And I don't know if you guys remember. If you think back, they did a. Actually, I'll tell you guys later. My uh, time's running out. Hold on, I'll tell you guys a story when I come back. Hold on. 